Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nash, and welcome to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. Today, I believe, is the day that the bishop is gonna come. We've gotten our graveyard to five white skull or good skull qualities. Um, I don't know. We've gotten it up there. The the wreath, the, the whatever. Oh, the bishop's here. Oh my gosh, hi. I didn't even know you were here. Okay, my friend. Well, yeah, we got our... um. We got it up to five. We officially are good to go with talking to the bishop and entering the church, which is something I've been waiting for. So I fixed the graveyard. I was definitely right about you. We unlocked a story down here. Interesting. I hereby pronounce you official keeper of this holy place and prior of this church. Nice. We did it, guys. The doors are open. Let's arrange your first sermon. It'll be a great honor, something, something. So just stand at the pulpit and speak the words. Pulpit? Did I say that right? And speak the words. I don't know what what, what words exactly. I was like, what, the words? Okay. Uh, actually, you can just say whatever you want. Well, this is how that works. Okay. You know, this place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations, some nice candles, music, incense. Get all oiled up. For a nice massage? Long story short, all of this stuff will help you to get more faith, and faith is power. Here's the faith. Okay, so we need this for Miss Charm. And I think we also need it for the snake, dude. Yeah, okay. So you've unlocked new technology and got create, prayer for faith, a number of very touching words your flock will uh, produce more faith okay perk preacher bishop told you that now you can arrange a church service oh well, there you go so i can start praying select a sermon we can do this one casual prayer so 10 needed to guarantee a successful ceremony a couple words without any real inspiration it still works somehow effect faith times two crafted at the desk okay we're gonna take a look at everything in just a second bug church quality Okay, it's 15, sermon needs 10, successful chance 100%. Very good. I like the odds of that. Uh, <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Hmm. Um, may the force be with you. <laughs> That's amazing. We actually got three faith from that. Haha, <laughs> not too bad, but my sermon something something. You should really prepare for your next sermon. I think the last prior kept some books with some wonderful words in the church library. I'm gonna have to figure out where that is. There's a spiral staircase over here. You'll probably find some weird stuff in there too. One of our keepers was engaged in scientific research. You can throw all that stuff out. No, I'm gonna be a creeper and I'm gonna creep through all of it. Anyways, we unlock the blueprint for the study table and gathering old books. Perk, curious mind. You go deeper. Find out the essence of things. Study an item. Studying an item has a chance to give you a story. I'll spread words about your next ceremony. Maybe next week someone will show up. Oh, I hope so. I'm pretty lonely. By the way, as prior, it's now your duty to perform a weekly ceremony. Oh, this is going to be hard to remember. On Purple Day, I can sell you some useful accessories for it. Also, I have a small task for you. Just talk to me when you're ready. Ah, I have to get out of here. The air is so dry, my skin can't take it. You better go get your massage oils, Bishop. <laughs> I'm gonna find a bottle of like massage oils down in this cellar. I just know it. He's 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 a weird one, isn't he? Okay, so we can start a prayer. Prayers will be uh, available again next purple Sunday. Okay, and then what about this? Is this just decoration? I guess we can decorate this place. That's kind of cool. It is pretty dark and dingy in here. I don't know if anyone's going to want to come listen to my sermons. But I can build a chest. That might be cool for putting our stories and kind of all of our extra stuff. Oh, wait. Did you see that? Look at this. We can add more, probably more benches and tables and whatnot. We just got to unlock some stuff is what I'm thinking. Oh, man, guys. I'm feeling so good about the fact that the church is open. But let's go into the cellar. Okay. Wait a dang second, we have not been here, but we've seen this because it kind of connects up to our house. Ooh, is this the dead guy that 
they were talking about in the last episode. I don't even know if that guy was a dead guy. I just kind of think he was. Study table. Pick an item to study. Whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. I need to study an item. Okay. Did we need to study the keeper's key? So if I study things, this is going to give me blue points, maybe? Can be decomposed on... Oh, can de be decomposed on the study table to get two blue orbs? So what does studying do for me? Do, can I do the keeper's key? This instructions for the key. You need to use the keeper's key with the instructions at the study table. I don't know. Okay, I don't quite understand this. That's something I might need your help with. So alchemy laboratory. That's where we are. What is this big thing? This is crazy. Ooh, I can fix things. Oh, this is good. Okay, so maybe if we fix this, we can... Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought I was fixing. I thought I was reading. I thought I was going to find books. Excuse me? I mean, I guess these are in a bit of disrepair, right? Like, they're not really going to do me much good. Well, shoot, dang. Okay. Okay, we're just going to get rid of these then. Maybe I can craft more bookshelves. I am getting notes, though, and ruined books. Maybe I can do something with those. Okay, very good. Look how many points I'm getting. Oh, this is awesome. So yeah, the study table is something I'm going to have to figure out. Ooh, recipe for speed potion. There's some blood I can take. Okay, but my inventory is full, so we can't really do this. Acceleration powder, zombie alchemy decomposer. Okay, we're going to come back to that. Well, another thing that I definitely think we need to do is start patching up the areas from the church and... Um, Wooden wedges, wooden beams. I, 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 that's not going to be good. Okay, we need to start getting these all cleared out so we can move around here a lot quicker. That would be good. But uh, anyways, we we can get out of the church now. What is this thing? Is this... There's nothing here. Is this a donation box of some kind? Ooh, we can now look at this too. Head of Royal Treasury Department, we are happy to congratulate you on the reopening of the church and the graveyard. Also, we are pleased to inform you that by using these lands, you have become a subject of royal law. All on-ground structures remain property of the Holy Church. However, all surface land and building that sits no deeper than one royal leap, four royal spits, dated by the ancient contracts belong to the royal family and the town. Okay, through this mailbox, you may now access a vast array of services provided by the royal treasury department your tax may also be paid by mail have a nice day king joe love you <laughs> ah okay so here's where we can get the exhuma ex 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 exhumation permission form so we need one silver coin so this is royal services okay very good so citizen rightful citizen and aristocrat so you can become a citizen you could get the royal stamp if you get 30 percent happiness wait a second so i can either get a stamp from here or i can get a stamp from snake so if i become a citizen i can get i need 50 well that's stupid <laughs> what the heck i guess maybe i am gonna have to get it from from snake oh man i thought it was i thought i was onto something there Town pass. Oh, this is where we get the town pass from. Trade license and aristocrat. Aristocrat papers. Dang, there's a lot more to this than I thought there would be. Well, I definitely think this is t a time for me to go to bed and save my progress because we've gotten up to a lot. Now, now that we've done so much, I'm kind of like, dang, what do we do next? Where do we go from here? All right, energy is all fueled up. Let's get out of this place. <laughs> And let's go see what other kinds of things we can unlock. So we got our crops. I'm curious, uh, do we just keep checking on these on a daily basis and it'll just tell us when they're ready, I guess? I do, I wouldn't mind actually getting another empty garden plot. So we can just do these next to each other. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we can, it looks like we can have as, as many of those as we would like. So, very nice. Let's get this prepped and ready to go for future crops that we would like to have on our farm. We're going to have this whole farming area. Ah, oh, it's going to be fantastic. Oh. oh, we just saw those grow in real time. That was awesome. 
<laughs> okay, cool. So now that we've done that, I'm kind of thinking, I did want to go check out the cremation area. I believe it's right down here by the morgue. If we kind of pop down here, yeah, this is where we can get the cremation building, uh, the crematorium, but we don't even have that stuff unlocked yet. So possibly our next step would be to check in on our technologies. Oh, yeah, we've unlocked so much face stuff. Great candles, candelabra. We can create benches and we can do flyers, prayer and prosperity. This is all stuff I feel like I'm gonna have to look into later. <laughs> uh, we do need the complex iron parts and the anvil. So those are, those are made with both of these. So that's 40 and five. We actually can unlock those. Iron chisel. And then there's some tools here too that we could get. But do we want to do this is the question because there's other stuff we could do. Like we could go into building, like getting more building stuff. Uh, big tree feller. Can't even get that yet. Yeah, because we need blue for that. We do need 20 blue and 10 blue to get these though. So I'm kind of thinking that that's actually our next step would probably be to get these complex iron parts and get that unlocked. We needed those for quite a few things. Going over to my anvil, I think I can get that all good to go. Nice, nice, nice. Sharpen them up, baby. Why can't I pick that up? <laughs> it's because my inventory is just crazy full of junk. Yes, that would be the case. Okay, let's get that all put away. Let's get the iron put away. Gosh, I have so much stuff. I'm, I'm getting keys. I'm getting faith. So I might get more faith on my next sermon, but I need to figure out what I need to do for that. Okay, let's put that away. Let's put these away. Put these away. All right, so now we just have to figure out what we gotta do next. I mean, we've done so many things. Oh yeah, my axe is just like out here. <laughs> let, me, let me make sure I pick that up. That's probably good. Man, getting a fishing rod would be cool. Look at all my perks I have. Okay, it's not a red update, so we can't do that. Collect the old keeper's diary from the church's cellar. So did we get that? I'm curious if we found that or not. I, I feel like I didn't. Anyways, demonstrate that you are worthy of talking to. Bring him an iron axe. Ooh, iron axe. Six moths. I need to figure out how to do that. Find a stamp and sell the meat. Okay, yeah, we need to be friend snake. Uh, bring five honey pots. Okay, hold on. So I could make these things at a church's workbench if I unlock. Ooh, okay, that's what we should do. Let's try to do that. So we just need to get 10 more of the red the red ones which shouldn't be too hard i think it, as long as we just craft some stuff we should get more and more it will be good okay let's get we probably are gonna need mm, firewood i guess that's always nice to have and then also wood wood wedges i know we'll need those for the future and then let's go get some more pitch because we always need that too we are almost at 10 and then we can almost make paper. I'm curious, we're probably gonna need some other stuff to make paper though. Make some wooden planks. At this point, I'm just making stuff. There's 10, beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can unlock clean paper. Crafted at desk, desk to paper press or church's workbench. I'm curious if we go down. Ooh, I wanna check on my crops really quickly, although I don't think they're done yet. Nope, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I want to go check if uh, in the church's workbench. We haven't had a body today, which is fine. Probably good to take a little bit of a break from that. I do need to upgrade my my gravestones a bit more, don't I? They kind of look terrible. <laughs> Anyways, we can actually go into the church now. Oh, it feels so good. So if we go down here, the workbench was like here, right? And then study table oh church workbench right i was thinking this was the workbench but complex iron parts and nails that's actually not too hard for us to make we just need a bunch of iron iron's gonna be something i'm gonna need to 
to do a lot of. It's interesting because I feel like when you have your mind set on something, your, your points just kind of accumulate. And then when you don't really have your mind set on anything, it's just like, oh yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> like, uh, I don't, I don't have anything to do. Um, it, or it feels like you don't have anything to do, but you have a whole ton to do. It's very interesting. Anyways, let's go look in my trunk here and let's see. So we have the paper, we have iron, we have one of these. And then we just needed, what did we need? Like 10 nails or something like that. Which I think it was. So I need to get to making some more nails. That's easy. We can get that crafted up and good to go. Okay, and then not simple iron parts. We needed those complex parts. Where did I make those from? These. Oh yeah, an anvil. Oh crap. We don't even have an anvil. I think we have the wooden one, right? Yeah, we have the wooden anvil, but we need this anvil. We just need four iron for that. Okay. Just kind of got to wait for this to do its thing. Okay, I think we're good. I don't think I'm going to need too much energy. So it's probably good just to sleep the whole day away. But I do want to make sure that I get some stuff done today. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm also just trying to collect up points. You guys already know. Look at me running into things as we do collecting up my carrots look at that so we got crop waste and i do know that we put crop waste in here and this oh we need eight okay that's fine but that is what will make us oh we're getting a body okay and that is what's going to get us what we need for uh the decoration for the, the plots the plants the, the these <laughs> these things these graves the, that's what they're called also I'm kind of thinking, so we need to get another gravesite going. I guess we'll put it here. Okay, let's go get that for day. I should probably think about trying to figure out how to make those prep stations too. Oh, you wanted to talk to me, donkey? It looks like you're doing all right here. Yes, I just opened the church. So, now you own everything here. Congratulations, you're a lucky man. You've uh, acquired all this capital your work for yourself you're a true capitalist now but this world has no such reward for a hard-working donkey like me even you are benefiting from my cheap labor i fear i cannot call you comrade any longer but i won't just lie down and take it here's a little present just for you uh, oh my god you just shit on my just 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 pooed and walked away wow well even shit can be fertilizer and carrot seeds hey i'll take it oh my god that was the last thing i was expecting today so what are you a cleric now it seems so hmm i don't remember anything after my death maybe there's nothing there or maybe i just forgot everything amnesia can be a useful skill you know what i mean my friend man yeah sometimes i wish i had amnesia or selective forgetfulness where i could forget certain things or certain people but that's not how life works <laughs> anyways let me pick this up and stop being melancholy oh oh wow okay this body's a bad one this is the worst body we've had in, since the whole thing started firstly let's get this blood extracted now i'm really wishing i had slept the full time because i don't know if i'm gonna have enough energy for this Okay, so that didn't seem to help. Let's- oh good, we made a surgical error already. His body is honestly probably just not gonna- It's probably not worth fixing. Yeah. I'm making it worse and worse and worse, but you know, I can still take the parts out and then- Yeah, this- this body is not gonna be even worth it. The sins of this bad human were too much. But I will take all the parts because, you know, why not, right? <laughs> I really need to- get like a chest down here can i make cannot do that dang that sucks i could make a pallet we could see what that looks like anyways i'll be back body i need to i need to go to sleep just just rest rest there not like you have a choice right all right back to sleepy time i think tomorrow's the day that i'm supposed to meet with the inquisitor if i am remembering correctly so we might do that we'll see we'll see what we have time for Okay, so that body should be good, just kind of sitting there. I do want to get that uh, pallet thing done. So let me get this all crafted up. I know that I need 
the iron going, but I want to get my, gosh, my, my inventory is so cluttered with junk. Okay, let's clean that out. We need, we need those and then we need my nails. Okay, so we have 110, so now we should be able to make four iron. Beautiful. Okay, sometimes I forget that you need to get it, like, get it on stock. Let's go in here. Let's clean up all this mess. And then I'm thinking I want to quickly craft a pallet. Crazy. Okay, maybe we can put it, maybe we put it there. The body will be fine. It will be fine. Just lay in there. <laughs> It'll be good. Uh, yeah, we can put a body here. So if we ever get like an influx of like a ton of them, I guess that's where we would put them. We do need to try to get the crematorium as soon as possible. Yeah, this body is not worth no offense, my guy, but you're not worth saving. Um, if we put this body in our graveyard, it is going to bring the quality down by a lot. So this is sadly going to be a river body. Oh, it's always brutal to do this, but uh, sometimes it has to be done. And it did talk about how like the person has like, if they, I guess if they're a bad person in real life, then their body is like bad. Which I think is interesting lore wise. Um, yeah, I really wish there was a freaking like desk table down here or trunk. There's a trunk everywhere else, but there's not a trunk where I need a trunk. But I've been kind of putting all of my like body parts in here. And then I need to start putting this stuff away too. But I'm so glad we got carrots. That's awesome. And our crop waste too. It's gonna be so great. Ew. Are my feet bloody is that because like when i'm in the morgue it's like my feet get all bloody and stuff i don't know i never really like noticed that detail before but kind of looks like it right yeah like it totally does ah oh, look at me go guys i'm so proud of my my work on this let's play but we do have crop plots and seeds that we can refill so let's go ahead and get more carrots planted heck yes Oh, I'm loving this. I want to go see if I can trade my carrots because I think that's going to be a good source of money for me. Okay, so two goals to finish out this episode that I'm hoping for is that we can talk to the Inquisitor because I think he wants to bother us about something. Really, I'm not the biggest fan of talking to him, so I don't want to do it, but I feel like it is going to progress us on the story and give us some more stuff to do, which is exciting always. And get an anvil. See if we can get an anvil so we can get those extra parts that we need for a lot of other random things around our uh, graveyard so it's gonna be great but i'm gonna go drop by the farmer's house right now and see if i can trade my carrots for anything i don't know if i'm gonna need them but i'm feeling like this could be the way to go here so 45 coins look at that that's gonna be awesome so we can do that and then we have 55 coins, so I might be able to get some seeds. So we needed carrots, we needed beets and cabbage, right? Yeah. So he has 30 that he can give. We need four to get us started. And I can I can start on my cabbage journey. Okay, let's start on our cabbage journey, as weird as that sounds. We are going to need to get a new plot set up. So I think I'm going to leave... Let's see, what if we leave one one space or do should we do two spaces? We two spaces and then one space, that'll be a bit awkward. Or we could do, just do them in rows, I guess. Just, yeah, like we could do this, I guess. That works. Um, we won't have enough to fill up all of these, of course, but it'll be a good start to get us going. So for example, here we can get our cabbage seeds. Very nice. And we can get the other plots ready to go too. So I just have to remember, you know, these are carrots, these are cabbage, and then we can do another row here, another row here. We can make this whole plot carrots later, this whole plot cabbage. It just, it just depends. Actually, super quickly, it does look like my pickaxe needs uh, repaired. Let's get this going. Should I go grab more iron? I'm kind of curious how much iron I have left. We have eight pieces. That's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. The tree did grow back. This was the tree. It's so small though now. So it probably gets bigger and takes a little bit of time. But the tree behind the outhouse did grow back. So that is confirmed. Trees do grow back. So I can make a little bit of berry juice. I'm actually kind of tempted to try it. Um, here I am. 
cooking food for the first time in this game. That gets us a couple of greens. That's pretty nice. I can also come over here and cook some things. Ah, oh, we can bake bread here. Baked apples, mushrooms, and fried eggs. So this is where, I mean, I guess I haven't really looked at this. I have, but I, I really haven't. Carrot cutlets, omelets. I mean, two carrots for carrot cutlets. It was a 15 stamina. I mean, that would be awesome to... Do I need to like chop carrots or just, just cook carrots? Is this like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this where I... I don't know, we're gonna have to figure that out. I still still need to figure out the cooking thing, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. All right, we literally just need one more and it's about halfway, but we can go talk to the Inquisitor super quickly and then come back and make ourselves an anvil. All right, so the Inquisitor says that he hangs out on Witch's Hill, which is this area up here. Look at all this stuff, like ruins and it looks like we could find artifacts up here or something. Inquisitor, do you want to talk to me about something? Meet me on any this day on Witch's Hill. Oh, he is a whispering voice. It's just awful. Uh, ah, Keeper, I enjoy the air here. There is something righteous in it. Task completed. I got a story. Uh, it is good to know that we'll soon be burning another witch here. We're still torturing her. Why are you so awful? <laughs> but forgiveness is worth it. This time the burning should go perfect. We need to prove that no witch can escape our righteousness. We need to make some preparations here. You can aid the Holy Inquisition. We need some firewood for a nice warm fire. Ugh. And as many advertising flyers as you can get. Bring 20 firewood and 10 flyers for the next burning. I'll wait for you. The witch isn't going anywhere. As soon as we have everything ready, we'll burn her. What an absolutely awful human being and I hate you so much. Yes, I do hate you. You're a dirtbag. <laughs> so this is what I'm thinking is the portal, right? This this definitely looks very portally, if I do say so myself. Oh, I think that's the bush in the back. I was like, whoa, can I? Oh, this is like locked. So I can actually mine stuff from here. That seems interesting. What if we just like dismantled the entire thing so that they couldn't do any more ceremonies? Oops, don't know where all the rocks went. Oh, guess you can't. Uh, burn witches anymore you know like oopsie <laughs> but at the the whole time it's our plan to save the witches i like this plan guys i feel like this is what we need to do anyways um okay we we met with the inquisitor that's now i'm gonna have to figure out how to make flyers that's the main thing that i'm kind of like oh dang oh also what is this looks weird i've never seen this before but i want to see oh is this a, the orchard area Vineyard. Yeah, it's a vineyard. Oh, nice. Okay, um, I guess we can plant things there later. Like, um, that could be where we get grapes for our wine. We can process wine. I have no idea. I really am having a lot of fun with this. But here we go. I think that is our fourth ingot. Should be able to go ahead and craft an anvil if I did do this correctly. Yes, we are all good here. So I guess I think maybe right there would be good very nice so let's go see if we can get these uh these iron parts made yeah these complex iron parts oh boy am i excited oh here is my time to shine with my berry juice wait why can't i did i did i make disgusting berry juice is berry juice not used for drinking i guess we're gonna use one of these dang it well that's fine i guess what the heck I thought I was gonna be able to use it. Okay, so that made us two. So in total, that gives us three, which is not great because we need one more, right? So let's go see here. Uh, we need an iron ingot. Okay, well, I should be able to, I should be able to do that. It's just gonna take a little bit of time, but that is basically like what I wanted to do to finish off this episode. So I am not too angry about it at all i'm really pleased with our progress in this episode but yeah thank you guys uh so much for watching this is where i'm gonna close it off here but i will be sure to catch you in the next episode of graveyard keeper i am enjoying this series so much and i hope you guys are too 
So thank you for joining me on this cozy, spooky Halloween season. I am going to continue playing this series past the Halloween season because I am just having a lot of fun with this game. Kind of kicked off our Halloween, but it is definitely going to go into the upcoming months. So don't feel like this is going to end just because Halloween is coming to an end and, and the month of October is coming to an end. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, like I said, I've said a million times, you guys are great and have a very beautiful, wonderful day. Bye guys. Thank you.